Talmud Bavli Gemara Brach, uh, Gemara Brachot Perkrishon Duff Yud Aleph Ten A Just starting from the last line of the previous page Dama Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachmani Amar Rabbi Yochanan For Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachmani said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan Kol parasha shehaita chaviva al David Any chapter of Tilim that was dear to King to Melch David, Patach ba ba'ashrei v'siem ba ba'ashrei. He opened with praiseworthy ashrei and concluded with ashrei praiseworthy. Patach ba'ashrei dichtiv. He opened, uh, he opened the first chapter with ashrei, as it is writ- as it is written, uh, dichtiv. Ashrei ha'ish, praiseworthy is the man. Vesiem ba'ashrei tichiv, and concluded it with praiseworthy, as it's written, Ashrei kol chosei bo, praiseworthy are all who trust in him. Hanhu bir bir yonei davu bishvavotei de Rabbi Meir. Certain bores, um, as in an am. Um, uh, or, or uh, people who are ignorant of Torah. Uh, there were certain uh, Amaharets in Rabbi Meir's neighborhood. And they caused Rabbi Meir considerable distress. Rabbi Meir was praying for mercy regarding them so that they would die. Amra le Beruria Dvitu, his wife Beruria said to him, Maidatach, what is your reason for this? Mishum dichtiv itamu chatim, because it's written, he said, let sinners cease from the earth. This is in Tehillim. Mi ktiv chatim, it is then um, Chotim written there. Is it or is it then written Chotim, uh, which means sinners? Chatim Ktiv. It's actually written Chataim. That means the sin or the evil inclination. Furthermore, go down to the end of the verse, or humble yourself also, that could mean. Shvil, sorry, the odd shvil lesefe dikra, and furthermore, go down to the end of the verse. Shvil can also be in humble yourself, or shaim od enam, and let the wicked be no more. Kevan ditamu chataim or shaim od enam. Once sinners cease, the wicked will be no more. Ela ba e rachme ilavehu dele hedru bichuba. You should rather pray for mercy regarding these people, the Amharats, that they should repent and turn away from their sins, their evil inclination. Urushaim od enam, the wicked will therefore be no more. Ba'arachame ilavehu vahadru bichuva rebimer did pray for mercy regarding these people and they did indeed repent. Amala umina livruya. A certain heretic once said to Bruria, "Ktiv rani akara lo yalada." It is written, "Sing out, O barren one who has not given birth." That's from Ishayahu. Mishum de lo yalada rani. Should she sing because she has not given birth? And therefore, this would cause sadness, not rejoicing. Amrale, Buria said to him, Shtaya shat, Shatya Shvil Lesefe Dikra. Fool, go down to the end of the verse. Shvil also again means humble, humble yourself, possibly. Dichtiv Kirabim Bnei Shomema Mi Bnei Beula Amar Hashem. For it's written, For the children of the desolate one, that is Jerusalem, are more numerous than the children of the inhabited one. Um, the inhabited one apparently is in Ed- the Edomite city. Said Hashem, Ela mai akara lo yalada. 
What then is, O barren one who has not given birth? Rani Knesset Israel, let the congregation of Israel sing out, She doma leisha akara, for she, Israel, is like a barren woman. She lo yalda banim legehinom kevatayehu. In that she has not given birth to children, uh, which are destined for Gehinnom, although you are, just like, but you are destined for Gehinnom, she said to that person. <clears throat> we'll just scroll down. So we're starting from Amarle at the top of the screen, which is one, two, three, four, five lines up of the middle from the middle section. Amarle lahu minar la Rabbi Abahu. A certain heretic uh, once said to Rabbi Abahu, "Ktiv mizmor le David bevarcho mipnei av shalom beno." It is written, a song by David upon his flight from Avshalom, his son. Uchtiv le David. Michtam bivarcho mipnei Shaul v'ma'ara. And it's also written, by David, a song of great worth upon his flight from Saul in the cave. Hema sehava beresha, which incident occurred earlier. Uh, which one occurred earlier, David's flight from Saul or his flight from Avshalom? Mikdi, now. Ma'ase Shaul hava Beresha, the incident with Saul was earlier. Lichtob Beresha, it should have been written, therefore it should have been written earlier. Amale, he said to him, Rabbi Abahu said to him, Atun de Lord Darshitun Smuchin Kashelechu, you heretics who do not expound. Uh, um, who do not expound uh, the significance of of the scripture? For you, this is a difficulty. Kashyalachu, this for you, this is a difficulty. Anan didar shinan smochim lo kashelan. We, however, who do expound uh, the scripture, for us there is no difficulty. Damar Rabbi Yochanan, for Rabbi Yochanan said, Smochin min ha-Torah min nain. From where in the Torah is, do we learn that uh, phrases are juxtaposed? Or where, where can we learn that we can juxtapose scriptural phrases? Shnemar, for it is stated, Smuchim la'ad le'olam asuim ve'emet v'yashar They are joined forever and for eternity. They are fashioned in truth and uprightness. This is in regard to joined passages. Lama nismecha parashat avshalom le'parashat gog umagog Why is the chapter regarding avshalom? Next to the chapter concerning Gog and Magog, Sheim Yomal Lecha Adam, so that if a person will say to you, Klum Yesh Eved Shemored Berapo, is there ever a servant who rebels against his master? Af Ata Emorlo, you will even say to him, Klum Yesh Ben Shemored Be'aviv, is there ever a son who rebels against his father? Elahava, nevertheless, it did occur. Hacha nami hava. Likewise, here it will come to part. Likewise, here, uh, regarding the future rebellion of Gog and Magog against Hashem, this also will come to pass. Amar Rabbi Yochanan Mishum Rabbi Shimon Ben Yochai. Rabbi Yochanan said in the name of Rabbi Shimon Ben Yochai, my dictive that which is written, Piha. Patcha bechokma v'torat chesed al lashona. She opens her mouth in wisdom, and the Torah of kindness is on her tongue. Keneged mi amash lo momikraze. Regarding whom did did Solomon state this verse? Lo amaro ella bekeneged David aviv. 
He stated regarding none, none other than his father David. Shadar b'chamisha olamim v'amar shira, who dwelt in five worlds and spoke songs of praise about all of them. This is from uh, from Eshet Chayil that we sing on Shabbat. Dar bimei imo v'amar shira, he dwelt in his mother's womb. And he spoke songs of praise regarding uh, regarding that time. Shnemar, for it says, "Balchi nafshiat Hashem v'chol kravay et Shem kosho." Bless my soul, bless Hashem, and all my innards, His holy name. Innards referring to the mother's innards, where he was. Yatzal le'avir l'haolam v'nistakel b'kochavim umazalot v'amar shira. He emerged into the air of the world and gazed upon stars and constellations, and he spoke songs of praise. Shnemar, Bachu Hashem Malachav Giborei Koach, Osei Dvaro Lishma Bekol Dvaro Bachu Hashem Kol Tzvav Vegomer. Bless Hashem, O His angels, strong warriors who fulfill His word to hearken to the voice of His word. Bless Hashem, O His hosts. Host refers to the heavens, meaning the stars and constellations. Yanak mishte imo v'nistakel betadeha v'amashira. He nursed from his mother's breasts and gazed upon her breast, and he spoke songs of praise about that time. Shnemar barachin nafshiat Hashem v'al tishkechi kol gmulay kol gmulav. Bless my soul, bless Hashem, and forget not all his nurturing. My kol gmulav, what is meant by all nurturing, all his nurturing? Amar Rabbi Abahu, she'asa la dadim bimkom bina, that God fashioned breasts for a woman um, opposite a place of insight, meaning their heart. Bina is in the heart. Tamamai, what was God's reason for this? Amar Rabbi Yehuda, so that an infant will not gaze at, the, at a place of nakedness. Rav Matna Amar Kedei Shalo Yinak Bimkom Hatinofet, so that an infant will not nurse from an unclean place, meaning that the breasts or the nipples are not lower down, um, lower down the body, which is more unclean. And this is where most animals have their have their nurse from. Ra'a b'mapaltan shel rishayim v'amashira. He perceived the downfall of the wicked, and he spoke songs of praise. Shenemar itamu chataim min ha'aretz or shayim od a number chinavshiat Hashem hallelujah. Let sinners cease from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless my soul. Bless Hashem. Hallelujah. He regarded the day of death, and he spoke songs of praise for that time. For it says, Bless my soul, bless, bless Hashem, Hashem my God, you are very great, you have donned majesty and splendor. My mashma da'al yom hamita nemar, what indicates that this was stated on about his day of death. Amar Rava Bar Rav Shila Misefa de Inyana from the latter part of the passage, Dichtiv, it's written, Tastir Panecha Yibahelun Tosef Vucham Yigvaun Vegome. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you retrieve their spirit, they perish. Therefore, referring to the day of death. Rav Shimi Bar Ukva va Amre la Mar Ukva Hava Shriach Shrich Kame de Rabbi Shimon ben Pazi. Rav Shimi Bar Ukva, or as some say Mar Ukva, was often before Rabbi Shimon ben Pazi. The Hava Mesader Agarata Kame de Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, who would arrange the Agarata before Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi. Amale, he 
he once said to Rabbi Shimon ben Pasi, "My dichtiv, what does it mean? Baruchi nafshiat Hashem v'chol kravay Hashem kosho. Bless my soul, bless Hashem, and all my entities, holy name." Amale, Rabbi, Sh- Rabbi Pazi said back to him, Bo ur'e shalo k'midat ha-kadosh baruchu midat basar v'adam. Come and observe that unlike the nature of the Holy One, blessed is he, is the nature of flesh and blood. Midat basar v'adam, the nature of flesh and blood, sar tzura al gabe hakotel, one shapes a form upon a wall, ve'eno yachol lehatil ba, Ruach uneshama kravim kravaim uvnei me'aim, but is not able to cast into a breath a soul in its end intestines. But Kadosh Baruch Hu enochen, but the Holy One blessed you say is not so. Tsar Tura betoch Tura, he shapes one form within another form, that is a child inside its mother. Or matil ba ruach uneshama kravaim uvnei me'aim, and casts into a breath a soul in its end intestines. The Hainu de Amra Chana, and this is what Chana said: "Ein Kadosh Ka Hashem ki Ein Biltecha ve'Ein Tzur Kelahenu." There are none as holy as Hashem, for there are none besides you, and there is no Tzur stone like our God. My Ein Tzur Kelahenu. What is meant by there is no Tzur like our God? Ein Tzayar Kelahenu. There is no shaper Tzayar like our God, like our God. My Ki ein bilte, biltecha. What is meant for there are none beside you? Amar abiyote bar menasya. Al tikre ki ein biltecha. Do not read there are none beside you. Biltecha. Ela ein levalotecha. Meaning, read it as there are none to outlive. Uh, there are none to outlive you. Levalotecha. Shelo kimidat hakadosh baruch hu midat basav adam. For unlike the nature of hakadosh baruch hu is the nature of flesh and blood. Midat basav adam ase yadav mevalin. The nature of flesh and blood is that his handiwork outlives him. Hakadosh baruch hu mevale masa. But the Holy One, blessed is He, outlives His works. Amale, he said to Rabbi Rabbi Shimon ben Pazi. Ana hachi ka amina lach. Um, this is actually what I meant to say to you. Hanei chamisha bauchi nafshi keneged me. Amaran David. These five verses bless my soul. Bauchi nafshi. Regarding whom did David HaMelech say them about? Lo amaran ela keneged hagadosh baruchun o keneged neshama. He said them regarding... None other than Hakadosh Baruch Hu and regarding a human soul. Mi Hakadosh Baruch Hu male kol haolam, just as the Holy One bless you see fills all the world. Afne shame mele a et kol haguf, so too the human soul fills all the body. Ma Kadosh Baruch Hu ro eve eno nire, just as the Holy One bless you see observes, but is not observed. Afne shame ro av ena nire, so too the soul observes and is not observed. Ma Kadosh Baruch Hu Zan Ekol HaOlam Kula, just as the Holy One Blessed You See nourishes all the world, Afne Shama Zana Ekol HaGuf, so too does the soul nourish all the body. Ma Kadosh Baruch Hu Tahor, just as the Holy One Blessed You See is pure, Afne Shama Tahora, so too is the soul pure. Ma Kadosh Baruch Hu Yashev Bechadre Chadarim. Just as Hakadosh Baruch Hu abides in rooms within rooms, Afne Shama Yoshevet Bechadrei Bechadarim. So too does the soul abide in rooms within rooms. Yavo mi sheyesh bo chamishat varim halalo. Let one who um, King David says, let one who possesses these five attributes come. Vi shabach le mi sheyesh bo chamishat varim halalo, and give praise to the one who. Possesses these five attributes. Just scroll down on the page on the screen. So now we're going from about um, roughly about ten lines up from the bottom, from Amarav Hamnuna. Right, Amarav Hamnuna. 
Amar Rav Hamnuna, Rav Hamnuna said, Mai tichtiv, mi kehe chacham, mi yodea pesher davar. Who is like the wise one and who knows the thing's interpretation, pesher? Mi kehe kadosh paruchu, who is like the holy one, blessed is he, she yodea lasot peshara ben sheni tzadikim. He knows how to compromise Peshara between two righteous people, Tzadikim. Ben Chizkiyahu Yeshayahu. Between Chizkiyahu and the prophet, that's Melech King Chizkiyahu, and the prophet Isaiah. Chizkiyahu, Amar, Chizkiyahu said, Leite Yeshayahu Gabai, let Yeshayah come to me. Dehaki Ashkechan Beriyahu de Azal Legabe Achav. For thus do we find in uh, with Eliyahu the, the prophet that uh, Elijah the prophet that he went to see Ahab, king of Israel, of Israel. Ishayahu Amar Isaiah said, "Let Chizkiyahu Gabai, let Chizkiyahu come to me." Tehachi Ashkechan Bihoram Bain Achav Dazalakabe Elisha. For thus do we find in Yehoram, son of Ahav, king of Israel, that he went to see Elisha. Masaka Joshbarach, what did the Holy One Blessed Say do? Hevi Surim al Hizkiahu, he brought afflictions upon Hizkiahu. Ba'ama Loli Shayahu, and he said to Yeshaya, Lech of Aker et Hachole, go and visit the sick one. And that's how Hashem brought them together. Shnemar, Beimimahim Chala, Chizkiyahu Lamut, Veyavo Elav Yeshayahu Ben Amotz, Hanavi Veyomer Elav, Koma Hashem Taot Tzav, Levetecha Kimet Atzav Velo Tichye Vegomer. In those days, Chizkiyahu took sick unto death, and Isaiah, son of Amotz, the prophet, came to him and said to him, So spoke God, instruct your household for your tongue, and you will not live. My key met a What um why does it say uh, for you are dying and you will not live? Meaning if someone's dying, obviously they won't be they won't live. Met ata belam hazeh, you are dying is about death in this world, the lotihye lam haba and you will not live is talking about the world to come. This is uh when uh, this was the, these were the words of Hizkiyahu. Amale, Hizkiyahu said to Ishayahu, "May kulei hai? What is all this? Why do I deserve this?" Amale, Ishayahu said to him, "Mishum delo asakta bifria verivia. It is because you did not engage in procreation. You didn't have children." Amale, Hizkiyahu said to him, "Mishum dechazai li beruach hakadosh." Tenafke minai binyan, uh, sorry, benin de lo malo. Because I saw with divine inspiration that unvirtuous children will issue forth from me. And therefore he refrained. Amale, Ishai said to him, Behade kavshe derachamana lamalach. Why do you concern about yourself with these hidden things um, of, the, of the merciful one, of God? My di my demi pak pakadata sorry demi pakadat ibai lach lame evad why what are you commanded you must do meaning you should have you should procreate o ma denicha kame kucha bricho lehevid and what is good before hakadosh baruch who he will do it's not for you to make that choice. Amale, Chizkiyahu said to Ishayu, Hashta hav li baratach. Now, I understand what I've done wrong. Give me your daughter, and I'll give her children. Esha de garma zechuta didi vididach venafkei minai benin dim alu. Perhaps my merits and your merits combined will cause virtuous children to issue forth from me. Amale, Ishai said back to him, Kavar nigzera alecha gzera. 
The decree of death has already been passed upon you. And so marrying my daughter won't accomplish anything. Amalei Chizkiel said to Ishaya, Ben Amotz, Kale Nevoatecha Vetze, son of Amotz, end your prophecy and go. Kach Mekublani Mibetavi Abba. I received this from the house from this teaching from the house of my father's father. Afilu Kherev Khata Munachat Al Tsavaro Shalatam, even if a sharp sword rests upon a person's neck, Al Imna Yatsmo Min Harachamim, he should not refrain from asking for mercy. So all hope is actually not lost. It manami similarly has been stated. Rabbi Yochanan ve Rabbi Elazar or Eliezer de Amrei Tarvayehu. Rabbi Yochanan and Rabbi Elazar, they both said, Afilu cherev chada munachat al tzvaro shel adam. Even if a sharp sword rests upon a person's neck, alim na atzmo min harachamim. He should not refrain from asking for mercy. Shnema, for it stated, Hain yikteleni lo Ayachal, although he kills me, I will pray to him. So you can hope for mercy even when you're about to die.